Hey what is going on some from taking toward and in this video I'll show you how to install Android 7.1.2 nougat based MIUI based multi rom on your Xiaomi Redmi 4 aka the Redmi 4X. So in order to install the rom you need TWRP recovery so if you haven't already installed I will leave tutorial videos links in the description below so check them out or you can click on the cards which are popping up right now. So now head on to the description and download the rom file and place it in the internal storage or in the SD card of your device. Now open the updater application, tap on the three dots in the top right corner and select reboot into recovery mode and select reboot now. So now in recovery mode, First, take a complete backup of your current ROM. So, just in case if you don't like the Nougat ROM or if you face any issues with it, you can come back to your stock ROM. Now, select Wipe and select Advanced and select Cache, Dalvik Cache, System and Data and swipe to Wipe. Now, select Install and select the multi ROM zip file and swipe to flash and now select reboot system so the first boot will take quite a bit of time so just sit back and don't panic So now we have successfully booted into ROM. So regarding what has changed over Marshmallow ROM, well, nothing has changed actually. It's the same MIUI, but it's just based on Nougat instead of Marshmallow. So as you can see, it's based on Android Nougat 7.1.2. So now regarding what has changed, so the whole UI is a bit more responsive when compared to that of Marshmallow. Uh, like app launch times are slightly faster than Marshmallow. So apart from this, I also noticed a new toggle in the developer options. So when you scroll all the way down in the developer options, you find this new toggle stating force activities to be resizable, make all activities resizable for multi-window regardless of manifest values. So as you can see, it clearly states multi-window, which means the ROM actually has support for multi-window but Xiaomi has disabled it intentionally so that the users cannot activate it. It might be because the feature is actually not so stable right now but nonetheless I will figure out some way to activate it. Since it's already baked into the operating system it just requires a trigger so I'll find out some way to activate it and then I'll make a video of it. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So that's it for this video guys. For more videos and the tutorial video on how to activate multi-window, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys later. See ya.